machines down at the command post, and we're ready any time at all to defend with splendid capabilities and fight the fight with all our might or land or air or seas. We dedicate ourselves to service in the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. We're the highly adaptable, truly remarkable military service machines. All of our trucks are so superior, they can haul almost all you need. The Dragon Wagon is always called by name, but anything you call him, he will be there just the same. And here's a machine who's dedicated to be anything you need him to be. I'm a high mobility, multi-purpose wheel vehicle, but my friends call me Old Humvee. Humvee! Yes, we're the highly adaptable, truly remarkable military service machines. Eagle's Nest, Eagle's Nest, come in, come in. This is Bravo One. Bravo One, can you hear me? Eagle's Nest. Nest. Come in, come in. This is Bravo One. Bravo One, can you hear me? Judy? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I mean, this is Eagle's Nest to Bravo One. Where are you? Look behind you. Why didn't you answer? Because I was busy. Busy doing what? Designing another one of those tanks that's not a tank? Yeah. Want to see it? It's a boat that's a tank and a tank that's a boat. Maybe you'll drive it someday. That'd be pretty awesome. When you build it, I want to be the first to drive it. But I don't think there'll ever be a tank that floats like a boat or a boat that drives like a tank. Well, if there isn't one, there should be one. You're right. If there isn't one, there should be one. Who's, Who's there? there? It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. And I should know, I'm Hard Hat Harry, the magical genie with the... Uh, hard Hat. He is, he is, he is Hard Hat Harry. The one and only. And I know all about you two. You're Judy and you're Chad and you both want to join the military. And I want to drive some of the biggest, neatest and coolest vehicles ever built. And I can do all that in the military in the Marines. Cool. And I want to design vehicles of all shapes and sizes to do jobs for the military. But how do you know that? I told you. I'm a genie. For instance, I know where there's a military base that has all different types of vehicles for all different jobs. There are big, big, big ones. Little ones. Short ones. And tall, tall, tall ones. Why don't I show you on my genie screen? Can I borrow that? Sure. Ooh, nice drawing. Some that carry heavy things, little trucks that tow special equipment, and tanks that do... All sorts of things! Hey, right, good job! But what about the ones that drive over mountains and climb over trees? Or the ones that go through mud, on land, and on water? I'd like to see those! Then watch! Military vehicles have to be tough and rugged and able to go almost anywhere at any time and under the worst possible conditions. And that's not all. Some are even able to travel both the land and the sea. Was that wild or what? Yeah! yeah. Well, are there any of those you'd like to see up close and personal? I'd like to see all of them. I want to see what they do and how they do it. Cool. I'd like to drive all of them. Ooh. I can do that. Here we go! <clears throat> wow. Harry, how'd, how'd you, you do, do that? that? 
Easy! I use an alternative form of the polarized molecular restructuring of cellular mass. Got it? No. Oh. Well, uh, let's just chalk it up to genie magic. Works for me. Where are we? Well, we are standing at the front entrance of one of the world's largest and most specialized organizations, the United States Marine Corps Camp Pendleton. And it's right over there, Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. Oh, but we need a couple of things before we go in. First, uh, we have to look the part. Oh, that's better. Whoa! Private duty reporting for duty, sir. Private chat reporting for duty, sir. Oh, well, at ease, Marines. Now, let's see. Hmm. We have to act the part in our own private military vehicle. Ta-da! Fly around! Come on, climb aboard. Come here, guys. Oh, Harry, I should have guessed it was you. Who else would drop in so unexpectedly? Who are your friends? Well, these are my friends Chad and Judy, and we want to see all of your neat military vehicles. Because someday Judy wants to design them, and someday Chad wants to drive them. Request permission to enter, Sergeant. Permission granted. Drive aboard and enjoy your adventure. In their role as peacekeepers, the men and women of America's armed forces use all types of vehicles to perform their jobs in all types of situations. If our government ever needs to respond to an emergency anywhere in the world, or at any time, their equipment, especially military vehicles, has to be dependable, rugged, mobile, and versatile. So guys, what do you think about this? I've never seen so many different vehicles in one place. This place would make a neat command post. Judy, you're going to like this because you see all the vehicles are designed for very specific jobs. Like this one. The LDS, or Dragon Wagon. Anyway, uh, it travels really fast, so it's used on the front line, and it can carry all different kinds of things, like water purification containers or osmosis units, or it can carry lots of fuel, and it can ford rivers and streams up to five feet deep. Next, the five-ton truck. It can ford rivers and streams up to six and a half feet deep, and it can carry up to 10,000 pounds cross-country, or 20,000 pounds across the highway. Well, come on, you daring pups, let's check it out. And this one, officially known as the M998, but everybody calls it the Humvee or Hummer, which stands for High Mobility Multipurpose Wheel Vehicle or H-M-M-W-V. Get it? Humvee. That sounds more like genie lingo to me. Well, it may sound like genie lingo to you and me, Chad, but to the United States Marine Corps, it makes perfect sense, and with good reason. You see, in the military, the names they give the vehicles describe the specific jobs the vehicles do. Well, here, I'll show you on my screen. Like most military vehicles, the Humvee serves many purposes. Humvees can do all sorts of things. Like, if you add two doors, the Humvee becomes a staff car that carries military commanders in the field. Or add a cargo back, and it becomes a troop carrier that moves soldiers in and out of battle areas. Or a supply wagon that carries supplies and ammunition and then there's the Humvee Mobile Communications Center, full of all types of really neat radio equipment.
or the Humvee Weapons Carrier that comes complete with its own tow missile. And then there's the Humvee Field Ambulance to care for soldiers in combat. Well, although the basic size and shape of the vehicle's chassis or frame remains the same, by adding additional accessories like a top or a weapons mount or additional seating, the vehicle can be changed to meet different needs for different jobs. Oh, and Judy, you'll be happy to know that the military is always looking for new military vehicle ideas and designs. That's where I come in. Right. Well, how many different types of vehicles does the military have? Well, basically, military vehicles fall into three different categories. Do you want to see? Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, okay, well, look up there. Harry, all we can see is sky. Oh, well, maybe this will help. There are the vehicles whose job is to transport people and things, whatever the obstacles, and in all types of weather. Those vehicles whose job is to protect people and things, and those who perform highly specialized jobs, like turning seawater into drinking water, tanks that tow other tanks, and armor-plated earth movers, just to name a few. That was really awesome, Harry. Yeah, having a genie for a friend is really cool. Oh. What's next? Yeah, Harry, I can't wait to see what's next. Mm, what's next? What's next? Well, up to now, we've been seeing everything from the outside looking in. Now it's time to go on the inside and look out. What happened? Where are we? We're inside the Marine Corps' amphibious assault vehicle. Pretty cool, huh? Well, it would be if we could see, Harry. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty good idea. What's this again, Harry? This is the Amphibious Assault Vehicle, or AAV. Um, well, <laughs> it weighs 26 and a half tons, or 56,743 pounds. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay, uh, let's see. Oh, come follow me. Okay, it consists of a crew of three, including the vehicle commander, the driver, and the assistant driver, and it can carry up to 21 troops in full combat gear. Now, its speed and, hold on, armament protects the Marines inside from harm. And you know what else? What? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that question. This vehicle, all 26 tons of it, can travel on the land and on the sea. Mm -hmm. In fact, it can drive all the way to Europe if you have enough fuel. Really? Yes, Judy. This is your tank that becomes a boat and your boat that becomes a tank. I knew it. I knew it. Can we ride in it? Can we? Sure. Let's go back inside. It's neat. It turns all the way around. Ready to begin that ride? Yes, sir. On land, the AAB can travel up to speeds of 45 miles an hour. How fast can it go in water? Well, let's check it out. Okay. Wow, pretty bouncy. Hey, Judy. Huh? I bet you can get some pretty good ideas on how to design your own vehicle by being in this AAV, can't you? Uh-huh. 
Okay, well, uh oh. I think we're getting close to the water. Here we go. Hold on. Oh, I'm getting a little seasick. Oh. Hey, what's that out there? It looks like a big fish. It is. It's a marlin. Oh, cool. Faster, Harry, faster. I'm going as fast as I can, Chad. On the water, the AAV has a top speed of about eight miles an hour. I can see how it travels on land, but how does it travel in the water? Well, let me show you. First, the driver turns off the tracks, and then the water is pushed out here in the back through jet propulsion. I really like the water part, Harry. Well, if you like this, you're going to love what happens next. Ready? Yes! Here we go! about the LAV-25. Now, it's an amphibious vehicle with propellers, but unlike the AAV, it can't travel through the sea. Instead, it travels through smaller bodies of water like rivers and lakes. Now, up here, you'll see it has a 25 millimeter cannon and machine gun, and the cannon fires high explosive incendiary tracers and armor-piercing ammunition. Now, over here, this is the LAV-AT, which stands for the Marine Corps' Light Armored Anti-Tank Vehicle. It comes equipped with its own tow missile, the M901, which defends Whoa. against tanks. Well, do you want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you. Watch this. Whoa. Oh, awesome. Whoa. Now watch this, guys. It's going to start spinning around and around and around. Wow. Whoa. Come over here. It's 21 feet long. Yeehaw! And it weighs over 28,000 pounds. Whoa. Which is like having 74,666 and two thirds bags of candy like this all to yourself. Wow. And it can travel over just about anything at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for something this big. Yep. But do you want to know what my favorite thing is about the LAVAT? What? That you can park it anywhere? Oh, <laughs> pretty good, Chad. But parking isn't a problem for me. If I don't like it here, I can move it there. Over there. Or right back here. Hey. But Whoa. what I really like about the LAVAT is all the different things it can do. Do you want to see? You bet we do. What kind of things, Harry? Well, all kinds of things like a battlefield transport, a mobile command post, a weapons platform, and even its own version of a 28,000 pound tow truck. Well, come on, I'll show you. This is the LABC squared, which stands for Light Armored Vehicle Command and Control Center. In addition to the driver and vehicle commander, the LABC squared carries a unit commander, two staff members, two radio operators, and a whole bunch of neat radio equipment. It's like a command post on wheels and allows the commander to direct operations from the field. Look at all that really cool radio equipment. You're right, Judy. But remove all that really cool radio equipment, and the LAVAT becomes the LAVL, 
The L stands for logistics. Its job is to transport all sorts of things like supplies, fuel, and ammunition under battlefield conditions. Add this, the M252 81mm mortar, and the LAVL becomes the LAVM. A mobile weapons platform which is used for indirect fire support. My favorite is this recovery vehicle, and I love the desert camouflage. Oh, I know all about this one, Harry. I have a book on it at home. It has a towing crane that can lift up to 9,000 pounds, and a winch that can pull up to 30,000 pounds. It's used to recover all types of vehicles from the battlefield. Oh, good job, Chad. You're absolutely correct. Don't stop now, Harry. Yeah, this is really great. Show Ooh. some more, please. Please. Oh, well, if I'm going to show you some more, I'm going to have to get rid of this. <laughs> oh, good idea. Um, ah. oh. Well. Man, I wish I could do that with my homework. What else are we going to try? During our adventure, Harry? In their role as peacekeepers, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps use all different types of vehicles to help them, protect them, and to help give them mobility. But if we want to see them up close, I'm going to need your help. Okay. Okay, on the count of three, salute with me. One, two, three. Salute! Take a look at this, the M48 Chaparral, and tell me what you see. It looks like one of my transformer toys. It looks like a rocket launcher to me. A short range rocket launcher to be precise. It carries a load of SAMs. The term SAM stands for surface to air missiles and that is exactly what they do. They go from the ground into the air for defense against airplanes and incoming missiles. What's that, Harry? It's one of the military's newest fighting vehicles. It's called the M2 Bradley Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle, or the MICV for short. Its primary job is to protect and support troops on the battlefield. Is that a Bradley tank too? Well, Judy, it may look like one, but it's not. It's the M109 Paladin self-propelled 155mm howitzer. What'd you say, Harry? In short, it's a very large gun with its own steering wheel. Its job is to drive, or to travel, to an area under its own power. That's what self-propelled means. Once there, it provides artillery support, that means big cannon support, where needed, when needed, and for as long as needed. Are you hungry? Yeah! Mm, okay, let's see. Mmm, this is so fresh! Yeah, it's still warm. Where'd you get it? Well, there's a reason why it's still warm. Now, do you remember when I told you that military vehicles fall into three different categories? Vehicles that transport people and things, vehicles that protect, and vehicles that performed highly specialized jobs? Did this come from one of those vehicles that performed highly specialized jobs? Yes, it did. An old saying is, an army marches on its stomach. Do you know what that means? Does that mean that they put their boots on their belts and crawl through the grass? <laughs> no, I know what that means. It means that an army has to have food. Right, and the best way to feed an army on the move is with a mobile bakery unit. And what else does an army need? Water. Right again, Chad. That's the job of this unit, the Reverse Osmosis Water Purification Unit. Its job is to turn any water in the field, including seawater, into pure water for cooking, washing, drinking, and showering. This is a decontamination unit to clean up toxic chemicals. Whoa, that's loud! 
and powerful too. After the unit has been filled with special cleaning agents, the soldiers use high-pressured sprayers to cleanse the contaminated surfaces. Show us more, Harry, please. Okay. How about these? They're combat construction vehicles. Their job is to clear things, move things, and build all sorts of things, like landing strips, airports, barracks, or living quarters, hospitals, and supply depots under combat situations. I knew the military was awesome, but not this awesome. Oh, that's right, Judy. The military has all different types of special equipment to do all different kinds of jobs. Oh, except for one. What's that, Harry? Well, the ability to get you guys home in time for dinner. No problem, Harry, no problem. Just use your reverse molecular Lear, polar stuff that you do. You mean my alternative form of polarized molecular restructuring of cellular mass? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Okay, um, well, hold on tight. Eagle Smith, Eagle Smith, this is your high command speaking. Oh, if that's your high command, it must be your mom. Um, I better get you guys back into your civvies. Oh, oh there, that's oh. better. Judy. Are you there, honey? Dinner's almost ready. Hi, Mom, I'm here. Are you and Chad having a good time? We're having a terrific time. Yeah. Good. You're welcome to invite Chad to dinner, but don't be late. Thanks, Mom. We won't be late. I just have one more thing to do. Over and out. Harry, don't go yet. I have someone to show you. We had a great time, Harry, but I was wondering before you go, if you could use your genie magic for just one more thing, please, mm, please? Well, I guess it depends on what it is that you want. I was wondering if you could turn my little Jeep into a big Jeep. I mean, a high mobility, multi-purpose utility vehicle. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. I can't do that because you're not even old enough yet to drive. But why don't you ask me again in about 10 years? I did it, I did it. What did you do, what did you do? I finally designed a vehicle that the military doesn't have. The Judy Mobile. It's a plane that's a truck, and a truck that's a plane. Cool. Great job. Oh yeah, that's very cool. cool. Neat, oh wow. Thanks. Harry, do you think someday I could drive it? I mean, fly it? Well, all things are possible. We're the machines down at the command post And we're ready any time at all To defend with splendid capabilities And fight the fight with all our might or land or air or seas We dedicate ourselves to service In the Army, Navy, Air Force and Marines We're the highly adaptable, truly remarkable Military service machines All of our trucks are so superior, they can haul almost all you need. The Dragon Wagon is always called by name, but anything you call him, he will be there just the same. And here's a machine who's dedicated to be anything you need him to be. I'm a high-mobility, multi-purpose wheel vehicle, but my friends call me Old Humvee. Humvee! Yes, we're the highly adaptable, truly remarkable military service machines.